Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how we can fetch data from an API or a public API, save that to our database and then edit them and then save again to the database. Okay, so here is the data that I'm showing is fetched from an open API URL that is this one, okay? So JSON placeholder mock B scepter. And it has uh, these many number of data. I think that is 20 data in it. Okay, uh, so the post IDs are duplicated. That's why we are also seeing them duplicated uh, here. And that's uh, because on their API, they have it like that. All right, and uh, if I try to edit them and uh, see the changes, does that work or not? Let's try to edit the first one. Let's say James Williams. I'm changing that to, let's say, um, uh, let's say Robert, um, kings okay and i save this one and let's also change this to michael kings the email and uh, this one let's say i add a yippee to it before changing that uh let's check our database what's the data here so that was james williams and you can see that this is the data now, if I save that, you can see it has changed to Robert Kings, Michael Kings, and Yippee is added. All right, let's check in our database. Robert Kings, Michael Kings, and Yippee is added. All right, let's go back to the program and see what changes we did. All right, so um, this is an um, uh, .NET Core 6 application. We have uh, the controller that is save API controller and the methods that I have here, control MO. So index isn't working, get the save API. This one is fetching all the API. Uh, sorry, this is the first page display. This is only, this will only show us the text box. And then um, I do a post request to save that data okay which is using the http client it will check if the url is blank if it's blank it will return with an error message and then it will uh, save the data uh, so after that we will see that um, yeah it, it will return us uh, to the same page with a loader that says that the page has been reloaded and then we will go to the safe api display so here uh, this one is giving us all the data Mm. But yeah so this one will uh, give us all the data and then it will uh, return us i think this string url this one is not working we, we're not sending anything to it previously it was only showing the data that's why uh, i used this one otherwise uh, we don't need this one it will only uh, give a, it will only show us the data now from um, the database that we saved it okay and after that, we are doing this edit. So edit method. The first time we click on that edit button, it's giving us this ID and it will fetch that record, bind it to the text boxes and show us the display. And when we change that one and save it again, it comes to this HTTP post. Here it's changing the data and saving it. And uh, if, after it saves, it redirects us back to the show display in data. All right. Uh, this one is uh, not required this one i just created for an example and we can remove that one all right so this is all about this uh, controller action method what else we have uh, if we check our database db context so here is the db context i have this class for user comments and that is in the user comments here in the entity section so what we did we um, changed our class file to match the API columns, okay? So whatever columns we have in the API, uh, we put those things in the class file, okay? All the matching things. Data type also like something that matches with that one, okay? And uh, after we do this one, we have our database. The table should be ready with those uh, columns again here. Uh, so my table also has the same columns as the class file as our entity class the serial number is just mine which is a primary key i'm using and it's an auto-generated one the rest of all columns are 
the matching columns from the API. Okay. After we do all that, so uh, we have this new gets set up in the um, project. So my APIs, uh, my my new gets that I have, I'm using here is this API core diagnostics entity framework core entity framework core dot SQL server dot tools. A code generation because I, I uh, did the scaffolding to generate the views and even soft.json this is required because we use that uh, serialization thing the deserialized serialized kind of thing if you look on the top I must have Newton soft .json active okay so let's go ahead and look the program.cs what we did there so program.cs is uh, fetching a connection and I don't think anything else it's doing here so my connection string is initialized in the app settings dot json which is this one okay all right so this is my uh connection string pretty much that much and the first and uh, the uh, the css html is i'll push i'll put these things on the github i'll share the code with you so you can uh, check this one right so that's pretty much all about this program and you saw how we made the changes here so yeah we did a uh, first of all we did the save api uh, let's try to do this without an url and it should show me that error so it gives us an url is required if we try to fetch data without an api in it so that's pretty much all about this video we fetched that api and we got this um, uh, data from the api uh, all the 20 datas and then we did the edit thing which worked as expected and it was also changed after fetching that data so i hope you might have understood what we did here the program structure that we uh, showed you here so um, you can check the program from uh, uh, github i'll push that and i will uh, put the link on the description uh, so that was all about this video stay tuned um, stay connected and until we have our next set of videos happy coding thank you